Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makoto Man at YouTube with a, another model video. Today we're going to be reviewing and demonstrating hand reamers or in layman terms, hole wideners. I have acquired two different types and sizes. This tool is only really suitable for scratch builders, modifiers, tinkerers and designers. The test piece will be a Bandai 1144 scale Gundam shield at a mil thick. For an accurate placement of a hole, a hobby knife, and to create a hole, a pin vise set that can go up to 2 millimeters. The role of the reamer is to expand these holes without using giant or multiple drill bits. From Japan, manufactured by Wave Corporation, is the blue handled multi blade tiered reamer. Retails a little over a thousand yen or in the West around the $30 mark. I was introduced to this tool several years ago at a Gunpla Builders World Cup Championship by Mr. Kawaguchi who did a very quick modification in creating a joint with a runner peg. It is as easy to use as seat the reamer into the hole that you've already created and you keep gently turning, removing and scraping away the layers to have a sizable circle that you desire that is a perfect sphere shape. A little debris is created that needs to be cleaned up and no damage to the tool. The second piece I have is manufactured in China and retails for exactly the same, made out of a very high quality steel with an aluminium handle. It is far more superior materials and workmanship, but this one is a lot slower in use with only two scraping blades. If your aim is to only ever so slightly open a circle for maximum near tool making, this tool is absolutely suitable. I was able to make a whole just big enough for a perfect fit of this 3mm peg and it sits snugs without falling out. If speed is more of a concern, the Wave one is much faster to use with multiple blades. Both are fairly fantastic and easy to use. Wave can make an opening from 1mm to 20mm. The Chinese model can go up to 14mm and a bit smaller. The Wave is also more comfortable to hold as it can be a bit jarring and tedious with the slower version. I would recommend owning both or either or for whatever meets your needs. For me, what appears to be extremely niche is absolutely vital to expand my scratch building capabilities and gain far more accuracy rather than freehanding it with a Dremel and a grinding stone. Thank you very much for watching and as always until next time, stay tuned for further content and we'll catch you guys next time. See you later.